Hello and welcome back to Lorefat Gaming Plays Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I'm your host Lorefat. In this Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guide, we're doing all the Gungaga region fiend intel. As always, everyone, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guides like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell so be updated and much more. So here's the deal about this guy. Normally I let everything go on without talking. However, this time I'm going to go ahead and go over two fiend intels to ensure victory for this. That's mainly Fiend Intel 1 and part of Fiend Intel 5. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first Fiend Intel. I'll be back after the last one is definitely done over with. Variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. During mating season, the males undergo a chromatic change to attract females. Visual analysis suggests love is in the air. In order to draw its intended mate's attention, the amphidex will let air resonate through its vocal sac, resulting in a romantic serenade. The melodic nature of its mating call is so intoxicating that other species have been known to fall under the amphidex's spell and pursue an unrequited love. If you learn how to woo others like the Ampidex, you could defeat any enemy without a fight. Okay, that was some somewhat interesting stuff from my, well, not really. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the stagger. I decided to focus on the stagger first. I tried to do all three at once. My issue was, is you guessed it, my characters were way too powerful. And at times when I did get turned into a frog, yeah, I always lose out on the objective. So I decided to do the stagger first. You want to try to do is uh, make sure you do not have ice plus elemental because you'll be OP as heck. Just try to do lesser combos like just tap a few times on the attack and such. If your character start getting turned into a frog that's alright just t go to another character when you focus on said target. See there's what I'm doing at this time and uh, there we go we're going to just keep on doing it. Now if you really want to go that far on using a real weak character case it is uh, good all the way. Just gotta dodge that miss as case if. Yeah, don't use the Moogle at all. And there you go, we uh, barely did get it, so that is how you stagger an enemy in this uh, challenge, or I should say more like world intel. I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, fight finish up. On you. Let me handle this. I'm going to go ahead and now start the one, you guessed it, without being turned into a frog. So let me go over that. Now with that, the best way to do is actually, I found out later on, was Yerfi. Yeah, I used her a few times in arena. She has mobility like crazy. Uh, if you can't get Yerfi self for Barret, he is very uh, good. Aerith is not bad as well. So use anyone with range attacks. They'll uh, definitely do fine. Now, there's two things you need to look out for. Toad Frog Toon, that is the green mist. Once you see green mist, quickly dodge out of the way. And there's the uh, poly wag punch, whatever that is. I'll call it the poly punch. Watch out for the punch. You get hit by the punch, you get turned into a frog as well. Now, uh, if there's uh, any items that's immune to, of course, being turned into a toad, that might work in your favor. But still, dodge like crazy. Use your best attacks. Go all out on ice damage if you uh, definitely want to. Go ahead and do it for this part. Elemental plus ice is the way to go. I'm going to go ahead and let this fight finish. And I will be back for Fiend Intel number five. Keep it up. Asshole!
it's not uncommon for the fright flower's germination period to last several decades. Once it sprouts, however, the plant grows at an astonishing rate, fully maturing in a fraction of the time. Adult fright flowers sink their fangs into unsuspecting animals that draw too close, draining their blood before supping on their flesh. The carnivorous plant is frightening in itself, but the worst part is... <sighs> I'm sorry, but the details are far too gruesome for me to share. Please exterminate this pest before you learn the truth firsthand. Come on! Keep it up! Allow me. On you. Yeah! Uh, you. Hold an opportunity, girl! Let's go! No. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Grandhorn variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Generally speaking, Grandhorns are peaceful creatures, which use their claws not for combat, but for unearthing insects to eat. During mating season, they pair off to build nests and raise their young. Those unable to find partners eventually take up the role of protector, guarding the nests of others and keeping the newborns from harm. Their crimson coloration is a warning to all would-be trespassers. Keep out. The social structure of Grandhorn communities is definitely worthy of further investigation.
very impressive showing. So impressive, in fact, that I was able to devise a new combat trial for you. And I was in charge of calibrating its difficulty level. We put a lot of thought into this, so give it a try. We're in dangerous territory now. Mutant Grand Horn detected nearby. Commencing guidance protocol. The reactor disaster had a profound influence on the local ecosystem, including this particular breed. Prolonged exposure to Mako has reduced their impulse control. Unlike most Grand Horns, this variant lacks a sense of community, invading and upending territory belonging to others. The long-term effects of Mako poisoning on both flora and fauna are still not fully understood. But the world needs to know. I hope you'll assist me in the investigation. Wow! Best do it right. It's on you. Okay, I got it. It's on now. This is here. We're in dangerous territory now. Maloceros detected nearby, commencing guidance protocol. Farmers have long employed the Maloceros as a source of agricultural labor. Sadly, the beast's numbers have dwindled over time. And in the chaos following the Gangaga reactor accident, the few remaining Maloceros escaped and went completely feral. Although these herbivores tend to have a rather calm disposition, some have been spotted traveling in herds and attacking other animals. This change is likely due to Mako exposure, and I suspect it's only one of many abnormal developments. Please exercise caution during your investigation. After annoying Mai, we're going to start the fight. So here's the deal. What's, I'll tell you about what Concentrate does. So at some certain point, as you see in the description right there, it will begin to heal itself when the stagger gauge gets high or it takes a lot of damage. Whoever is definitely first. And there, there's my 14 
intel for the region. So uh, you want to definitely do is build everybody's bar up to at least one. So uh, this way, if it does concentration, what happens is uh, you have a shot at, of course, interrupting. So we're going to get everybody there. I got Tifa the two because I'm not really going to use her quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to definitely use uh, Cloud there. I'm going to use Cloud. There's concentrate quickly. I do mean quickly. That bar is going down to uh, definitely cast your fire magic. Let's go ahead and do that in quick sessions. And let's do it one more time. And it's almost uh, done. And I think we got it. And there you go. We stopped it from healing. So that's good. We got it. But still, you need to keep on up with that. Because uh, that, that check mark might be an X. So definitely uh, I see you doing this concentrate. Just a uh, big time uh, go ahead and, of course, use your fire magic twice. I'm going to let this battle go on. Because once we uh, stop the second concentrate in Stagger Town, total victory. Brace yourself. Can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> All right. Gandhi variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol, known best for its distinct fangs. The Gaji Gandhi is believed to have migrated to these lands from a faraway continent. There it was revered as a sacred creature and featured in the family crests of royalty. While it's unclear how and why the Gaji Gandhi became established in Gagaga, some suspect it was drawn to the region's Mako deposits. Recent reports suggest the creatures have begun to expand their territory. Their presence has undoubtedly altered the Gungaga ecosystem, and I hope you will assist me in my quest to find out how. Assignments within the Gungaga region. I've added a new trial to the simulator. 
which you may undertake at your leisure. <sighs> at your leisure? Cheeky, considering you're not risking life and limb. Neither are they. It's VR. Know that I am ever aware of the hazards you must face, Cloud. I will endeavor to not only assist you, but ease the weight of your burdens with my humor. If my begins to grate, I'll gladly tweak her AI. <laughs> With the sixth and final Fiend Intel in the Gongaga region, you're basically done. This is it for my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Gongaga region Fiend Intel video guide. This is Lord Fat signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy content just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Let's go ahead and put this monster on fire. That's that.